Hi, it's Heather Mann here and with me I am joined at my house, by the way, nice and casual environment today. Look, Coco's with me and of course we have a very fantastic student who is also a very good friend of mine. She came to my house and we thought, hey, why don't you share your story with everyone because it's so inspiring and I love stories like this and I just want people to recognise and see a little bit of themselves in Amy. Say hi Amy. Hi Amy. She's, uh, she hates this by the way, she hates the camera, <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to make her enjoy it, I said it's going to be fine, I promise. So we're just having a bit of a casual chat and I said, well, I've known you for how long now? About five years. Five years and how long have you been doing the training with me and the forex trading? Um, for about two, two, three years now. Yeah, two, yeah. three years. So I would say, I think it's about two, two, three, yeah, two, three, yeah. two and a half, nearly three. Wow. So it's been... A very, very good time. Sorry, Coco's trying to fall asleep here. It's all that boring, is it, baby? Cutie. So, what, what were you saying? Oh, yeah, two years. So, you've been with us, well, with the Anyways Forex. She the training under the Anyways Forex two years ago, two and a half. And um, how, what were you doing before? Um, Tell them. I was in a nine to five job in marketing for quite a while. Uh, I never really enjoyed marketing. Um, I just kind of wanted to get out. Did you like the 9 to 5? No, I hate. I just hated it, it was just yeah, not me. me. I'm not advocating the 9 to 5, I personally hate it, but I mean it's just hearing it from other people. Why mm -hmm. did you hate the 9 to 5? I mean I don't suppose we need to argue that case, but what was it about the 9 to 5 you hated? Just the fact there wasn't enough freedom to do the things that I want to do. Which was? Um, like go on holidays, take time off whenever I want. Have nice things. <laughs> yeah, of course. So she yeah. loves lots of nice things. Yeah. But I've always kind of wanted my own business ever since I was younger. Yeah, that's interesting. But I just never took the leap. Yeah. Okay, okay. And watch what happens next because when you did the training, and by the way, when she did forex trading, had you ever? How did you even know about it? And how did you like? What What made you even think of forex trading? Well, um, a few of my friends were investing with you at the time. Um, I knew that they were making a lot of money off it, so I kind of looked into it, spoke to you about it, um, and then kind of took it from there. She thought, what? She's missing out on something because everybody else was, you know, having all this fun, and she thought, okay, let's try it out. Did you ever, how did, I mean, you also mentioned, have you ever done maths? Were you big in maths? No, I've got like a C in my GCSE, so no, I wasn't good at it. <laughs> exactly. It's very good to know because a lot of people worry. You see, the reason why I think it's so important for all the listeners to hear this is because I have so many questions asked to me uh, to, from females, males, whatever, more so females and hence I'm going to bring Amy in as an example for the female traders because she had never done for, uh, Forex ever before mm -hmm. and she, had n she was never confident, she wasn't like a mathematician and she didn't really value her maths knowledge so she, she didn't have that as something that she would say yeah I'm really good at maths therefore I should be good at trading. So, one, you don't have to be good at maths at all, would you say? No, not at all, no. Great. And then, well, how did you find the training then, when you're actually learning it for the first time? Um, it's kind of like step to step, um, so it's quite easy to understand, like you'd repeat everything if I didn't understand, and I could always call you if I didn't understand anything, so in that sense it really helped me, Yeah. because so, I had that kind of support there. Okay, good. So she had a lot of support. Um, and I'm glad that you found it easy because it's not the easiest thing to learn but I make it sound too easy which is fun and did you, I mean you found it a breeze after a while. How yeah. are you, well, when you were doing the process how did you find your trading, like how did that mentorship or how did it help you, like what did you change in your life? Well I went from a 9 to 5 and I bought my own business a year later after I started trading with you. Wow, um, a year later, that's like 12 months and that is amazing. So, go, I mean, that's like the biggest jump. Most people are so scared and they're like, what would you say to people who are constantly scared of like going from their 9 to 5 to doing their, what they dream of? And what is your business by the way? I've got laser clinics. Well, I've got two now. Yeah, amazing. She's an amazing girl. She's, she, why did you pick that? Just that I mean, it's not to do with Forex. <laughs> <laughs> just, I was kind of just into that sort of thing. I've always been interested in aesthetics um, and I'm vain. <laughs> She's vain and she likes good aesthetics, so great. You can make a business out of it and make money out of it, yeah. which is great. And she enjoys it. Obviously, I'm just having a laugh. Yeah. She's, She's got such a good discipline and that, I mean, it takes, would you say it takes a lot of discipline to be good at number one, Forex and to open up your own business? 
Yeah, I'm quite disciplined and I'm quite self-motivated. So I wake up in the morning, I meditate at five o'clock in the morning. Then I trade from around six to seven. So I trade an hour a day, put my risk management in my trading. So, you know, I don't look at it after I've put it in. Wow. And then I go off to the gym, relax in the morning, and then I go to work. After? After midday. <laughs> so I don't work before midday. <laughs> exactly. Now, how free is that life? I mean, that is amazing to have that kind of life. And before that, you were like stuck in an office commuting go in there and get in there for whatever half eight nine yeah. and then there till what four or five, five yeah yeah exactly yeah. so it's such a big difference and you did that in one year yeah and now you've got two clinics yeah wow i'm amazed this is what i, I love about trade and how did trading help you get to that level with trading it's a lot of it's to do with your mindset yeah um so i applied that mindset to the rest of my life as well yeah so that's where i kind of got that's how I got to where I am right now. And how did the like the money side of it help with trading? Obviously, the f finance that I got back from trading allowed me to have a business. Yeah, that's a big deal. Because obviously, yeah, we can't underestimate. You need to have money to set up. But forex became a tool for you to create that yeah. passive income, and I guess set up what you always dreamt of. So it's a tool. So a lot of people think, okay, if I do forex, do I need to do it full time? Do I need to just like become like okay, my title is now a forex trader? I mean. She admits herself that no one would look at her and think, okay, she knows how to trade the forex market. <laughs> yeah? I mean, that came from you, not me. No. But that's great. That's what I want people to do. So they, people think there's a stereotype to being a forex trader, that like you need to be a man in a suit, or you need to have mathematical knowledge, you need to be into financial news, and all this stuff prior to it. And Coco particularly knows, sorry, Coco's trying to like get out of my lap. I think I'll let you. Let's sit here. Sit there, Coco. Okay? No. Maybe. Okay, he wants to take centre stage. He's not happy unless he gets centre stage. Oh, wow, beautiful. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, so back to, you don't need to have a stereotypical person doing it. So, would you say all females could do this? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because, you know... There's nothing stopping them. Wow, because I think women are the ones that are scared the most before they come on Forex. Or they, they always ask me, I mean, am I too old, too young, too whatever, not clever enough? That's what I hear all the time. I'm not clever enough. Um, I'm not good at maths. This is why I said, look, I mean, never had big maths, you know, she wasn't like an S3 A maths person. You don't need to be. You, I mean, how difficult is a figures if you have to do any? What with trading? Yeah. Not at all. Simple, no. like, maths, like, yeah, simple, simple yeah. adding and subtracting yeah, yeah. and maybe using a calculator here and there. So that, that's really good. Um, any differences, again, back to the female thing, any differences, oh, this is just me thinking out of the box, would you say there's a difference in being a female trader versus a male trader? Slightly, just because of females are known to be like more emotionally wired, whereas males aren't. Okay. Um, but it's, again, it's about getting your mindset right. Yeah. And before you trade, I think it's really important to be calm and not attach yourself to money, to keep detached from it. Yeah. Who did you know that from? You. <laughs> <laughs> I humbly accept that in my, I, have, I mean, okay, you know, I see her as a friend because she's been amazing and she's been a friend first, but she's also learned, the, she went through the very strict teaching that I have, and what do I teach in my mentorship, just so that these students and this and this is known? That mindset's the most important thing we're trading. Yeah, and then do you get, like, a what to do and how to deal with things, like, the whole attachment to money and yeah yeah because that, that there is so much to it there's so much in-depth knowledge required for like how this works and a lot of people think it's just strategy and i just need to know xyz and i'll suddenly become a overnight success would you say it's an overnight success journey not overnight it takes time it takes dedication exactly. you know and you can't really there's going to be ups and downs yeah yeah but as long as you don't get what well, you can get there good and that that's why someone with that mindset can now go out and set up a business in fact two businesses in the space of a year and a half or yeah. so amazing so left a full-time nine to five set up her own business living the life oh by the way how many holidays have you had this year five already but hopefully going on my sixth one next month <laughs> it's ridiculous you know like this is in a 12 month period she's going on six holidays and that means you don't work very much <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't even feel like I work when I'm at work, to be honest. So because you finally got a business yeah, you love, yeah, yes. Yeah. And then trading. Do you trade when you can go away? Can you find the flexibility there? 
Yeah, I did. Oh, when I went to Thailand this year, I was trading. When I went to Singapore, it was actually easier to trade in their hours. Yeah, especially <laughs> if you go to Asia, because you can yeah. have the whole morning, yeah. afternoon, and then hour. If you're still trading UK time, which is, yeah. you know, like an eight hour shift or so, something yeah. like that. So then you, you've pretty much had the fun in the day. You have an hour doing something, and then you carry on eating. Yeah. yeah. So it makes a lot of sense, as in, I. I see why people like you have like been so successful. One, because her mindset's on point. She's never given up. She's followed everything I've taught her and more. She's not the kind of person to sit still and just say, oh, I know everything. Do you carry on learning to improve yourself? Yeah, definitely. I think it's always important to carry on learning throughout the whole of your life. Personal development's really important. Good. I'm so glad you said that because I want people to see what someone like Amy can do it and she is someone who can share a lot of our pain. I came from 9 to 5 in the past, she's done it. A lot of my students have transformed their life and she's a fantastic example to live in her life the way she wants it. In fact, what does financial freedom mean to you? Just being able to do all the things that I want. Um, for me personally, it's having nice things, going on holidays, um, having a nice car, um, being yeah. able to just spend time with my friends and family as much as I want and not having to worry about going to work. Amazing, because that's the, yeah, you're choosing what to do with your time and you choose how you spend your money because money gives you that freedom, mm -hmm. you suddenly, yeah, you can have all these nice things and believe me, she's got lots of nice things. In fact, it makes me jealous sometimes. I think I haven't got, I need to get more because she, she loves nice things. She loves fantastic holidays. She's a bad influence, I think, very bad. But no, I'm kidding. She's great. She's, <laughs> she's been so amazing. What, so what would you, um, I mean, you, I love, I mean, I think it inspires me alone. So I'm sure you're inspiring a lot of people just hearing your story. Because what would you tell someone who's like thinking about whether they should trade Forex? I mean, or if they just want to transform their life, what could their Forex trading teach them? It teaches you, um, gives you a stronger mindset, I think. Um, gives you discipline. Um, and it just kind of like pushes you, just because you can develop. You, you do you do need to develop your mindset when you're trading. Yeah. So it can, you can kind of implement that into the rest of your life as well. Amazing. So if someone was on the fence thinking, should I do this? Should I not do this? What, what should I do? Is this for me? What would you say to them? I'm that type of per well, I'm personally that type of person that I think it's important when to take an opportunity when you see it. Yeah. So I'd take the opportunity. Yes. Some people think about it too much and I think they lose the essence of like... Yeah, I think it's important to take action straight away. Amazing. I mean, I, I agree. I mean, I can't really add to that. And I would just hope that people understand and see that it's all possible and you can have whatever life you want. I mean, I had no idea she wanted to open up clinics, etc. But she's the kind of person that wanted to be ambitious, she was ambitious, she wanted to be financially free, so she took trading on and created that passive income to make her, you know, in a position of control, because when you've got enough money, you can step away from that nine to five, mm. then she set up her own businesses, and the sky's the limit now, now she's just living life the way I think that most people only dream of in the past, so amazing, I want to say well done again, and it's just the beginning, it's only been like two, two and a half years, and she's done so much, so, so much, and I hope to see some more and bigger achievements. I mean, she's only moving one way, which is that way, and uh, I hope it helped everyone. Do you think that anything else you want to add? Or? Um, yeah, if you've got the opportunity, just take it, just do it. Amazing. Thanks so much, Amy. You've been amazing. So I think Coco enjoyed that. Did you, Coco? No, sleeping. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but guys and girls, you've been great. Thanks so much for listening. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you learned a lot from Amy. Um, and she, by the way, hates the camera and she <laughs> hates... We hadn't rehearsed this because I just wanted her to just... I said, look, just sit there. I'm going to ask you a few questions. Just tell them whatever. And it's going to be like a conversation. So she has not realised how good she's been. I hope you guys tell her. Okay, so guys and girls, see you soon. Bye. <laughs>